Where's my finger? So this is how we unload the plastic that's currently in the printer, which is purple. You gotta wait until the printer tells that you, it's okay for you to tuck it out. It's gonna heat it up the plastic first. Alright, and now we just follow the instructions it says. So the guide tube is this clear tube right here that feeds into the extruder. You can just gently pop that off. Now once the guide tube's out, the plastic may pop out just like that. Or if you find that it's staying in there, you can just tug it gently, gently until it comes out. So now that that's done, you will press the M to continue, and the M again, and that's unloading the purple plastic. So now that it's out of the extruder, we can roll up the plastic just by, oh, let me get a good angle for this, just by roll, doing this kind of motion. I like to put my hand over most of the filament so that it doesn't loosen up too much from doing this. Alright, and there's a little hole, I'm not sure if the video can make that out, there's a little hole right about there and you can feed the plastic through it. Just like that. And that way it stays taut. It's very important that the spool does not get loose. You want to keep the tension in there. And then you can pop the whole thing off. Like that. And here we got all our lovely colors. So then what we're going to switch it to today is blue. Normally, if you live somewhere that is very humid, you would want to store this in either an air-conditioned space or with some desiccant. I'm not sure how much it would impact it, or our library does not have that issue, but just something to keep in mind if you live somewhere tropical, maybe. Lucky you. There we go. So now, taking the end of the filament, like so, feeding it into the top, after you get the first, oh, on. after you get the first inch or two in, you can instead of manually just kind of pushing it in there like that, you can just grab it with your hand and do this, which is a little bit easier than doing that. So I like to do this. And again, I'm putting my hand on the bottom of the spool there to help kind of feed it without losing tension in the spool until, on the other end, there it is. Once, it's up, once it pops out the other end, it's easy enough just to grab it, like so. And now we can move on to the next step. Which is loading. So I'm going to press the up arrow press the M and follow the instructions. So push the filament through it says. So grab this. If the tip isn't nice and clean like this, if it's all stringy or whatever, you want to just snip it so it's nice and neat. It's easier for the extruder to grab onto it then and it's less likely to jam. And then just gently feed it in like so. And you want to stick about a thumb's length in and really feel that it's actually going in there before you stop feeding. And then, if you've done it correctly, blue should start popping out the other end. 
and then here we're done and we just press the left arrow to get out of here and now we can print something in our new color so here we go